The Collections Manager module is designed to provide Dynamics SL users with a vehicle to fully manage and track all of their collections activities. It integrates with Accounts Receivable, Sales Order Management, Service Invoices, and Project Management. As you can see, it looks and feels just like Dynamics SL and contains some of the following sections, Maintenance, Input, Processes, Setup, and Reports. We will cover most of these sections throughout the course of the demo. But let's walk through this demonstration as if we were sitting down using the product today, potentially for the first time. I'd recommend study, starting in Dunning Letter Generation screen. From this screen, what I'd like to do is select customers that are active, that have a balance of $1 or more. And I'll go ahead and begin processing. It wants me to enter a list ID, and for today, I will use today's date. The list ID is, would be created dynamically, and it allows me to recall that list later, whether I need to use that personally or to share that with others. Now what I'd like to do is create actions for today. I want to call all of these accounts on this list. So I'll hit F3, a standard Dynamics SL function, and select an activity that I've created called Same Day. And you can create activities that make sense for you and determine how many days from today's date you would want to create that activity. I'll go ahead and select Create Actions. And as I do that, it lets me know that 12 actions were created and they can be accessed from the Collections Manager screen get out of this screen, but certainly not before saving my outstanding changes. I'd start my day normally in the Collections Manager screen. And in here, it tells me I have items on my work list. Go ahead and I'll click OK, and then I'll click Show Work List. So these sh this shows me, excuse me, all of the calls that I have for today that I created from that Dunning Letter Generation screen. Let's go ahead and click on this customer and load this customer. You can see immediately that I have access to not only the customer information at a high level, but phone information, average days to pay, and outstanding balances. I can click on any one of these invoices and see if there's been any previous activity associated with these invoices or payments. By scrolling to the right, I can also see if they pertain to a certain project ID. So I'll come over here and I'll click on the top invoice. And I noted here that the last person that called, they called Carolyn. Let me see if Carolyn is still a contact here that I've created for, with the Collections Manager module. And here she is. So I will load Carolyn as a contact and immediately her contact information appears in the screen. What I'd like to do now is I'll show you how you can select this invoice and actually email this to Carolyn. I'm selecting a template that I've created previously. And what the system's doing now is it is launching Outlook and creating an email specifically for Carolyn that I can completely edit if I'd like to. And this again was an email template that I created with inside the system. What you can also see, because I generated that email, it'll let me know that I did create that email and put that in the system. I also want to make a note here that um, I emailed the outstanding balance to Carolyn. And I will add that note. I can associate that note with a specific invoice or simply with the account. Uh, and I want to set up a follow-up activity. And I will call her back tomorrow. Go ahead and hit OK. And I want to complete any open actions that are there 
for this account and hit an add. Now if I go back to my work list from here I can just select my next customer, load that customer and make start making my next calls. But another thing I want to point out to you on this screen is you can also print invoices, you can and you can send create an invoice letter as well if email is not how you typically communicate with your customers. So you can see how you can create activities for yourself within the Collections Manager module and then complete those activities as well as create emails, create letters, print invoices, and add notes or actions. Let's look at some of the features that help me set up those actions for today. My action maintenance screen is one that you can set up for yourself. It not only I create you can not only create an action ID for each activity, describe that activity, but also point out the number of days from today that you'd like that activity to occur. And again, you can set those up so that they make sense for you and for your organization. Also, contacts is an area that I can create. Do you remember with Denise, we had pulled up Carolyn as a particular contact, and I created that within here, and I can pull that from, certainly pull information from shared information, from bill to, ship to, or order management contact. The template maintenance, again, is where I pulled all of the email templates and or the letter templates and assigned, chose the fields that were available to me and assigned those uh, fields to, that, to a bookmark, thus creating either the email or creating the letter. In addition, uh, we have the user customer list. And what this is, as, as a collections manager, I was signed in as sysadmin and I wanted to see collections activities to show up on my work list for any of these accounts. But I can certainly limit that. If I only want to see a few accounts, I could always go in and remove some accounts from my screen so that I'm not associated with those accounts and their collections activity. So just note that this impacts what you see on your work list, but not what you can pull up in the input screen. The other thing that's key for me to note here is that we do have some, some basic reports that you can generate. I also wanted to note that the Air Collections Manager module fully integrates with Quick Query. So if I'm in Quick Query and I go over to Customer Balances, I can see this list as it shows up here. I can right click. And what it will do for me is it'll do two things. I can go directly to that collections manager screen as I had before, or I can create a collections manager email as I, as I did within the collections manager screen. Go ahead and create that email just like I'm in the screen itself. Again, it'll generate that email and pull it up and I can send that off to Denise. So thank you for your time today in reviewing the features and functionality of our AR Collections Manager module.